Hey guys, I'm Garrett Ryan and you're watching WZRA TV. Hi Garrett, tell us all about Oculus. What's the movie about and what character do you play? Um, it's about this mirror that was made in the 1700s and um, it's basically haunted and every family that's owned it um, winds up dead and no one suspects that it would be a mirror so it'll just get auctioned off and passed on to the next family. And um, so it's about two different timelines. Um, past and present, I play in the past. I play the role of young Tim Russell. Um, he's basically just an innocent kid who really relies on his sister and he has um, hints and moments of bravery and courage. But the movie, it's really interesting because it intertwines the two timelines a lot. And um, you never really know what's real because the mirror has the power to change reality. And so you never know what's real or um, what's fake. And so it always, it's very mind-bending. You It really causes you to think a lot. How have you liked working on the set of horror movies? What's that like? Do you get scared easily? Um, the set of horror movies are always fun um, because you really have to, as an actor, you have to create that artificial fear. And I never really get scared when I'm on set because, I mean, the director and the camera's right there and there's no music, which adds a lot. But when I'm in theaters and I watch the movie back, even though I, even though I know exactly what's going to happen, I'm always super freaked out. How did you like working on the shows Dog with a Blog and Wendell and Vinny? Um, I love the sets of, like, young adult shows and kid shows and stuff like that because the cast and the crew are always so lighthearted and fun. Sometimes when you're filming a movie, um, everyone's set can get kind of stressed out between money and time and things like that, but working on shows like Wendell and Vidi and Dog with a Blog, um, everyone on the set is basically a big kid, so it just makes for a fun environment. What was it like working with the cast of both of these shows? Um, on Dog with a Blog, the guy who plays the voice of Stan, I actually worked with his wife on a pilot called Partners, so it was really cool getting to see him again. What's been your favorite project you've worked on thus far? Okay, this might sound really cheesy, but my favorite project I've worked on this far is actually Oculus. Um, the, the entire cast became friends very early on, and so I think that made the acting much more natural, but... Um, it was a great experience. Everyone in the cast was amazing, and the movie wouldn't be what it was without the cast we had, and Mike Flanagan, the director, was great, too, so it was a really fun experience. What was your experience like working on The Young and the Restless? Um, I love that show to death, because it, not only is everyone in the cast and crew really cool, um, but the style of filming a soap opera is different than anything else. On a soap opera, they'll film probably 40 or 50 pages of a script every single day. Or on a movie, they'll film maybe 4 to 6 pages of a script. Maybe like 4 to 10. And on a TV show, they'll maybe film 8 to 20. And so filming a soap opera is super fast-paced. You'll get a rehearsal and usually only one take to film a scene. So um, you always have to be on your toes when filming. Do you have a dream role, a dream project you'd like to work on in the future? I've always wanted to play the role of an insane person. I don't really know why, but um, I love I love the fact of getting to really exemplify a character and become something that you aren't entirely, rather than just playing, um, you know, like a neighborhood kid or something like that. You really get to change your entire um, personality. How was it attending this year's Kids' Choice Awards? Did you come across getting slimed at all? The Kids' Choice Awards were amazing. Um, the orange carpet was great. The party the, and the show was awesome. It was great getting to see a lot of my friends. But there's one point in the show, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was towards the end of the show. I'm not entirely sure. But um, the, there was balloons, like big clusters of balloons over these mosh pit areas. And they all popped, and they all had slime inside. And slime came raining down on all the kids. And Marky Mark said, now for the audience. And I looked up, and there was a giant cluster of balloons right above my head. And I was thinking, I'm going to get slimed. So I tried to get out of the way, and they all popped, and it was just confetti inside. 
So, yeah, I was really freaked out there for a second. I was like, oh, no, it's just confetti. What's your favorite TV shows you like watching? Um, my favorite TV shows? I really like Big Bang Theory. I just love how the writers can bring, like, humor and comedy out of, you know, nerds, basically, which isn't an inherently funny thing. Um, but I think the writing is super clever on that show. What are some of your favorite Disney movies? Favorite ride at Disneyland? My favorite Disney movie, by a long stretch, is Up. Like, I, I can't watch that movie without crying. <laughs> and I love how it has adventure, but it also has a ton of heart. And my favorite ride at Disneyland. Um, probably California Screamin'. I, I love roller coasters, so it's my favorite ride there. Favorite fast food restaurant? In-N-Out. I love In-N-Out. I mean, I have to get a double-double every time. The single never tastes as good, so double-doubles all the way. Tell us about your Twitter and Instagram. How do you like using your social media sites? Um, my Twitter and Instagram username is GarrettRyan10. And um, I, I, I started on Twitter a while ago, and I liked um, how easy it was to connect to fans. And I just sort of recently started using Instagram, like probably a year, and I like them both. If you could get a tweet from any celebrity, who would you like to get a tweet from and why? I'd like to get a tweet from Leonardo DiCaprio. I've always been a fan of his since Titanic, and I think he's an amazing actor, so that would be really cool. Thanks, guys.